Hello, everybody. My name is Sylvain Rochon. I am the Paradise Engineer, and、uh, I'm here to talk to you about government. More specifically, I'm here to talk to you about how, in the future, we can have no government. And I'm making this video in the light of recent times, in these Covidian times, where governments are. Enforcing rules on、uh, on individuals, especially regarding mask wearing or closing down businesses and things like that, which is scientifically、uh, speaking or、uh, for for、uh, health reasons, trying to prevent the spread of a virus. Now, these mandates and these rules are disrupting all of our lives because we essentially don't have a better way to do things. We've had a government for the longest time. We're used to having this central system that takes care of us, or at least that's the idea. But as we know, there's also lots of corruption. There's a lot of money grabbing. There's positioning for power and so on that's going on. Inefficiencies、uh, inherent to the systems.、Uh, all this stuff that we're all aware of in this the system. But what we want is something that is better. What we want is we want to be able to be healthy and safe. Without the control of a centralized entity that is composed of human beings telling us what to do, so the aim here is to move towards a system that does not have those controls and those centralized systems telling us what to do. We'd like to be able to have the proper information to fend for ourselves, and which means the proper technology and access that we almost have already. But it, we need to restructure our society to facilitate, to enable a world without government, without borders, without boundaries, without countries, just people that agree to do things with each other. That in, implies that we have a system in place, not managed by people. So unbiased. So we're talking about AI, robotics,、uh, quantum computing, whatever else, right? All these technologies that we often talk about. That are in place to serve us, generally speaking, and equally, to make sure that we the, the natural resources that are pulled from the earth, using this AI and robots, are transformed to things that we need to consume to survive, to be happy, to、uh, to self-actualize, to do some great things, and、uh, and that's totally doable. We can see it now. We can imagine it because we have. Uh, delved in the world of AI enough. We have peeked into this world sufficiently to know that in the next twenty to thirty years, we'll be able to have AI that are more capable than the human beings, and they can be programmed to have absolutely no bias whatsoever. They're not seeking power, fame, money. They don't need any of that. We do, and some people more than others. So we kind of a system that manage the environment. And the resources, healthcare manages governance. Make sure、uh, you know if people have everything that they need. If people are sick in the head or in the body, they get treatment. They get isolated if they, there's a need to do that. And we can we can build that. And we're in the transition to build society that is not perfect, but built in a way that allows us to self-actualize without a central entity telling us what to do. So, in the case of a of this type of system, if there's a pandemic that comes into play, because that would also arise from nature, still, then you have instant, immediate reaction by, by AI and robots talking to each other across nations. Complete instant coordination, moving things around, putting things in, into place, finding,、uh, analyzing the DNA of the virus instantaneously, finding a way to save people. Protect people. People can choose to、uh, to do whatever they want, and they they can be aware of all this stuff going on. We have the AI kind of working for us, keep us safe, and、uh, and kind of actively doing going about our daily lives without interruption, and without work by that time either. So that's the that's the ideal. That's where we need to go, and we're in the transition right now. Currently, what governments are doing, they're still acting like it's the 19th century or 20th century. Let's say 20th century, where while、well, they have to to impose mandates, 
it's as if we don't have access to information and we can't process information for ourselves anymore because we didn't have access to information in previous generations now we do i think instead of informing informing us properly all the egos are into play and they're fighting each other for for the reality of the messaging and people get confused and infection are uh, infection rates with covid are unequal in different countries and cause all this chaos and then the mandates mandates come in because governments figure is the only way to contain a virus and then we got our freedoms restricted even those of us who completely understand what's going on and can protect ourselves and others even our neighbors with good solid information and understanding blanket rules mandate everything and then the rise of the conspiracy theories that that are anti-government that are anti this anti that that believe the government's out to get us through the and that the virus is a hoax it doesn't really exist uh, uh, all, all this stuff and it's chaos and a lot of people are concerned worried and just tired of the government shenanigans uh, which is often egocentric uh, and not really for us so when there's something serious that happens you know to, that we should account for and manage our lives around uh, everything gets blown out of proportion both ways either the virus is non-existent or it's like a plague it's neither it's because you have people in play that are trying to grab power, make money out of it and they exacerbate the messaging either it's deadly or it's non-existent or it's like the flu or like in a, we have to work towards a paradise system paradigm it's called where there is no such phenomena because there is no people in power. Government as we know it doesn't exist. We just have a governance system which literally is a computer system that manages things for us, things that we need organized for the common good without bias. They don't need to be paid, nothing. And then if something happens, they provide us with the information or treatments or that we need to know without mandating and, and, and rules and fines and all this stuff that can aggravate uh, everybody. Just like, okay, there's a new virus and, and we're taking care of things and here's how we're doing it. Good, solid information. But then we have a trusted partner in the system that has no motivation except taking the best care possible of us, working for us. And we go on knowing that the, the best system out there without extra motivation is trying to heal us. That's the future we should be aiming for.